Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of our Phasmophobia patch notes analysis. I've got <laughs> Blue Boo here. Hello. And I've got May May here. Hi. And my studio is still in boxes, so we're using the season one filter over here. All right, first up, we have Entanglewood removed the thunder sound that had voices in it and replaced it with two other thunder sounds. Uh, the this idea of to... voices. Go ahead. This has got to be one of the most terrifying patch notes I've seen. Like, that's nightmare fuel. I didn't even hear, I never heard the voices in Tanglewood I've never heard Thunder. Them. Same. But apparently they were there. That's fucking creepy. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually noticed this uh, for them to, like, actually. I had no idea. It. No like, idea. Like, I'll be honest, I pride myself on having pretty good hearing and catching, like, subtle cues and such. I never mm -hmm. heard that. Yeah, you definitely have an ear for stuff like that for sure. Well, glad it's gone. And now it's gone. Okay, next up we have Banshees will now hunt like other ghosts and target any player when its target player is outside. Now this one really made me stop and pause because I could have sworn that's how it worked from the get-go, or at least that's how it was supposed to work. So I'm wondering how long it's been broken. <laughs> right? What was it like before, too? Like, did I... the Banshee just stop attacking? Right? I, I I query this because like I won I, I I had a think on this. I think what this means is like before it would switch its target, right? What if now it doesn't switch its target, but it keeps its target? But if the target is not in there, it will now default to going like the original ghosts. Okay. So like the difference was the difference was before like it would switch, it would switch targets, but now it'll keep a consistent target throughout the entire thing. And instead... that's, a possi that's a possibility. I wonder, like, the, I feel like if that is the intention behind this, uh, maybe the developer should have made that more obvious. Because, like, nowhere in the actual text was written, how it was written, is that implied at all. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're basically yeah. having to, uh, what, what, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, they like, ferret out these details, basically, based off mm -hmm. of... They were being vague very vague yeah yeah that's okay though well at least now it is you know going to be behaving the way i think we thought it was behaving from the start <laughs> yeah Maybe. fingers we'll crossed see. we'll see yeah <laughs> so next we have that the 50 dollar photo reward challenge has been changed to be a total of 50 dollars reward over multiple games this this confused me at first because i wasn't sure how this was interpreted but mm -hmm. After having it explained to me by our, our power box bottom, I now fully understand. I think this is a really good change. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think what this means now is that instead of having to get the $50 worth of photos in a single game, now you can do so over the course of multiple games, um, which makes it a little bit easier to get this uh, reward challenge done. So yeah, I think I think it's a good thing. I honestly don't think I've ever had like the full fifty dollars in like photos in any game. I think I've been close to like twenty or twenty five, maybe even thirty. No, I think you have. It's uh, you have to you know you get the photo of the ghost, you get the photo of the bone, you get the Ouija board, you get uh, fingerprints, uh, you get uh, I think dirty water didn't count towards money, did it? I forget. No, it did. It did. It did. Okay, mm -hmm. you get that. Um, and then maybe there's something else. But I think that was like the big gist of it. And then you had the $50 at that point. Mm. I'll, I'll you could you probably get the... It. Go ahead. No, I can say, I, I'll take your word for it. I don't think I ever got it before, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Okay. Although, to be honest, yeah. you, you could probably get the bonus in like a couple games. Like yeah, it wouldn't sure. take that long. Yeah, now, now, now the way it's set up now, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although, Although I will say, I keep nearly calling it pounds and not dollars. <laughs> that's Monopoly money. That, that's, that's fake Monopoly money. Well, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Next change, we have lower the resolution of the photos to help with lag spikes when taking the photo. An option will be added in a future update to increase the photo resolution 
Uh, I never noticed any lag spikes, but, you know, having better performance is always good. Yeah, I never noticed it either, if I'm honest. I'm the one who generally struggles in our games with yeah, loading in. Yeah, never so. seen it. Yeah, I wonder if this had to do with how fast someone's connection was and people that weren't blessed with, like, super fast connections were barely just able to cling on to their multiplayer game uh, were being affected by this. And it also makes me wonder if this could also have been turned into some kind of, like, form of griefing where you pick up all the cameras at once and you just take pictures in rapid succession. Okay. Um, and I, yeah. I wonder if, like, if you, if you did that quick enough, if it might, like, boot the... Uh, you know, people out of the game that were having an issue with this. That sounds likely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Overall, it's a good thing for them to fix, for sure. But yeah. it does kind of suck that it, they're lowering the resolution of the photos. Because I feel like already, sometimes the photos were hard to make out in some cases. <laughs> True. True. So uh, hopefully it, they add the option back soon. Well, yeah, like they did say they're going to. So, you know, it's not a permanent thing, yeah. thankfully. I'm gonna I'm gonna be setting uh, our photos to 4K resolution. Yes, please. Let me see those pores. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the ghostly pores. <laughs> yeah. Well, this ghost needs to exfoliate more. <laughs> yeah. uh, next up, and lastly, we have the ghost will now leave fingerprint evidence when opening doors in a hunt. This will help situations where the ghost room is in an area with no doors. So this is great because if you had a ghost who one of their one of their evidence pieces was fingerprints and they were in a giant ass room without any doors, for example, uh, then you're kind of screwed. You know, yeah. you're you're kind of screwed. Um, and at least th in this case, granted after a hunt, which might not be ideal, um, you're going to be able to potentially finally get that evidence. Mm hmm. I also think it'll add like a layer of scariness to an extent because you know how when you like hide in a room and then you hide in like a closet or something and you can hear the ghost but you can't exactly pinpoint it. You'll actually know if the ghost has like opened your door or like touched your door kind of thing. I think mm -hmm. that'll add to it, which will be kind of cool. I I also think that this will make the game a little bit easier too, because in cases where you can't find the ghost room, yeah. now it's literally leaving a trail for you to follow. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What they need to do now is like add handprints on someone who's died. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Just covered in handprints head to toe. <laughs> well, I was thinking more like around the neck, because you know <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's the way yeah. they really kill you. True. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. That'd, be, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. But, I mean, they would only show up on, on ghosts that have the fingerprint evidence, right? Yeah, but it'd still be kind of cool, you know? If it can leave handprints, there's handprints on the neck. Or mm -hmm. on the butt. Whichever. On the butt. <laughs> Death by butt touch. That sounds painful. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel this change also makes it likelier that you run into fingerprints right like overall yeah it'll In make general, it a lot easier yeah. mm -hmm. which is really good because if you if it ends up like bugging on a door and it doesn't show up you know like yeah. they, they had a few patches back where they weren't showing on gray doors yeah it kind of also fixes that a little bit yep and uh, this was a really short episode because uh, while I'm sure the developer is super duper busy, there wasn't that many updates this past week, <laughs> which a lot is of okay by me because there's less editing work I have to do now. So <laughs> I suppose what they're probably doing is because they're getting ready for everything to be switched to the main game, maybe they're focusing on that. Yeah, it could be. So all of us can be found on Twitter and on Twitch. Our links can be found down below in the description. Don't forget to hit those likes subscribe buttons ring that notification bell if you would please we super duper duper appreciate it um i'm gonna be going back to doing this every week because now i'm you know not homeless anymore <laughs> and i have uh, i have a place to do this from mm -hmm. so uh we'll see you all next week with uh the next uh, phasmophobia patch notes batch uh see you next time bye bye hey everyone before I go, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me over on Twitch where you can join us live and join in on the fun while it's happening. Until next time.
拜拜。